Noel just came up from a nap and we were about to put out the main sail and the jib sail so that we could switch from using the engine to the sails. And as we were putting up the mainsail, we noticed the engine started to make kind of a different noise. Noel thought maybe it sounded a little like an airplane, but it was definitely like a, a different noise. And uh, I looked down and there's a lot of white smoke coming out of the engine. You know, and sometimes there's smoke coming out, but I wasn't sure what that meant. Last time on Sailing Valachandra, we rode out the remnants of Hurricane Nestor and then crossed the Gulf of Maine. We tried to leave Portland, Maine this morning. We were on a mooring ball overnight and there was a lot of heavy wind and we knew that the sea state would be increased. They predicted about two meter waves. We left the mooring and sailed out into the channel and we could see waves breaking on the rocks. We thought the sun was kind of shining on the water ahead of us. We thought maybe that's waves breaking out there. So this little fishing boat came up beside us and started going out of the channel too. We got past, I guess, the last entry markers and we went right into 30 foot waves. I mean, it was intense, massive waves. And they were just about at the breaking point, about seven second intervals. It was scary. We took a few of those big ones, just going up and down a mountain. We didn't catch it on camera because we were too busy handling the boat. The fishing boat got ahead of us. He went out a little ways and he, he gave up. He said, no way. And he turned his boat and went back. So we said, okay, yeah, no, we're going to spend the day in Portland. We got our diesel jugs. We just filled up our water. Brought our dinghy into Four Points Marina, spelled F-O-R-E. Nice little marina, lots of space. Cost us $20 US to tie up our dinghy there for the day. And yeah, we're just going to go fill up these diesel cans and grab a bite to eat and a coffee or whatever and just kind of see what Portland has to offer. Hopefully we'll get out of here tomorrow morning. Just stopping for a quick bite to eat here at Oyster Co. We got some fries. Zeus is somewhere. Our boat hook got mangled in one of our jib sheets in the middle of the crossing from Nova Scotia to Portland. Crookedly mangled. We're just going to run into West Marine and take a look, see if we can find a new boat hook. We've accumulated more stuff. Backpacks are full of groceries. New boat hook. We're just trying to find a gas station now to fill our diesel tanks. Well, we were finally able to get all the water and diesel jugs we needed for the next leg of our trip. So it's $20 to tie up here, but you also get free shower and use the facilities. It's been little over a week now, and Bob has decided that it's time for him to go home. He feels that Dan and I are more than capable of completing this journey, just the two of us. We will miss him. I got the jib out now. So we just left Portland and I'm motor sailing now. Noelle's just taking a nap. We're going back out into the Gulf of Maine so that we can go from Portland down to Cape Cod. And then we're gonna try and hook up with some friends. And I think we're going to try to cross to Bermuda. But now that we're out in the channel, it's probably a good time to put up the jib and try to squeeze a few knots out of the trip here. And once we're out of that and we're about back out into the open water, we're going to put up both the main and the jib and we're gonna to try to fly down to Cape Cod. So Noel just came up from a nap and we were about to put out the main sail and the jib sail so that we could switch from using the engine to the sails. And as we were putting up the main sail, we noticed the engine started to make kind of a different noise. Noel thought maybe it sounded a little like an airplane, but it was definitely like a, a different noise. And uh, I looked down and there's a lot of white smoke coming out of the engine, you know, and sometimes there's smoke coming out, but I wasn't sure what that meant. We noticed that the boat speed had dropped quite a bit. Um, I'm hoping that it's nothing serious or maybe just overheated or maybe we have something wrapped around the prop. I don't know. We're just going to sail for a while and let the engine cool down. Then I'm going to check it out and check some fluids and have a look at it and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. But we're, we plan to sail all night and then all day tomorrow. So as long as the wind doesn't die, we should, uh, we should be okay without the engine for now. We 
We are just outside of Boston. We sailed all night. Went out way past where all the lobster traps and crab pots and all that stuff are. And now we're just coming in, crossing another shipping lane into the Boston area. Hopefully there's a place in Cape Cod where we can tie up because there's supposed to be some, some pretty nasty weather coming through tomorrow and uh, we want to be safe and secure before that hits. So we pulled into Marblehead, which is just outside of Boston. Marblehead's famous for the Marblehead to Nova Scotia race. A lot of my friends back in Halifax have done this. This place was a good place to find a good morning ball, and there's quite a few of them here. We were going to meet friends in Montauk, but I think they changed their plans. We're still going to head that way, go through the Cape Cod Canal and make our way to Bermuda probably in a few days when this weather clears. But what we've got right now is a pretty bad storm. It's going to be pretty intense tonight. They're calling for up to 50 knots of wind tonight. But we've got a pretty solid morning ball here and we're fairly well protected here near Boston. So I think it was a smart move for us to come in. During our passage, our engine lost a lot of power. We were motoring uh, just outside of Portland and it started to sound funny. We started sailing at that point, so we kind of ignored it, but then we turned the engine back on when we got closer to this area and realized that we had still quite a bit of power loss. There was a lot of white smoke coming out of the engine. This morning, I took the phone, I put it on the boat hook, and I, and I stuck it under the water and had a look at our prop. It looks like we have a lot of rope or fishing line or something wrapped around our prop, and it's pretty bad. So uh, before we leave here, I've got to put on my wetsuit, get in the water and go cut whatever is around the prop off of there. Stay tuned, you're gonna see me diving in cold, frigid North Atlantic water to cut stuff off of our prop. Suited up in my seven mil wetsuit for the North Atlantic. I'm gonna get in the water and I'm gonna try to cut whatever is around our prop off. It sucks, it's like November 1st. Alright, well my wetsuit works. It actually isn't too bad going in there. Once you get in, it's really not that bad. You can go down and you can work and so seven mil wetsuit for the North Atlantic. Hopefully we'll be out of here on Saturday and we will begin our trip to Bermuda I think because it looks like we have a really decent window. We'll go through the Cape Cod Canal and then meet up with a couple other boats that we know that are heading that way and hopefully we'll all go together to Bermuda. If you want to support us, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. It's been up for a while. We haven't had much support on there so far, but now that we're traveling and cruising in the Bahamas, we need that support more than ever. So please go check out our Patreon page. And if you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, leave a like or a comment below because we read them. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. Bye. Next time on Sailing Bella Chandra, we do the Cape Cod Canal, then finally leave for Bermuda.